So first things first, right? I'd, I'd, I'd really like everybody to know that I do not sell anything in the forex trading space and you know please try to be aware of people that may try to use my name to scam other people and all of those things right i don't sell any courses i don't sell any signals so those people that are busy texting you commenting on my videos acting like they are me please be safe out there guys so um you know how am i planning to be a millionaire <laughs> I know that most of you guys uh, are expecting me to be like, yeah, I'm planning on being a millionaire by probably opening this kind of business or by probably investing in this kind of thing. Um, but basically, I'm planning on being a millionaire. The way that I believe that I'm going to achieve being a millionaire is by making sure that I stay true to my father. It is by making sure that I make Jesus happy. It is by making sure that you know i stick with him i do not leave him <clears throat> right so some might be surprised that what has that got to do with with you being a millionaire and, and, and all of those things like i'm a forex trader am i not supposed to be saying that okay i'm probably going to do this or invest my profits and all of those things and i feel like that's where most people have it all incorrectly they don't understand that we are living in a spiritual world before something manifest in the physical realm it has to it first manifest first is in the spiritual realm right so you know as course there are quite a whole lot of people that are putting in work on their things and there are quite a whole lot of people that are doing great that are good at their jobs and all of those things but you know somehow they 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 just don't see progress uh it is because probably they are not progressing in the spiritual realm that is why i always tell people that you know Make sure that in each and everything that you believe in, make sure that you go all in on it, right? So I believe, I don't even, I, 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 I don't even believe, but I've got to a certain point where I know that, you know, at this position that I'm at, it was Jesus that put me on this position. No matter how much, how, how, how much money is in my trading account, how much profits and all, and all of those things. But bro, it is not just simple as, trading making money depositing withdrawing bro like money is spiritual bro and i see a lot of youngsters a lot of young people the youth thinking that they can just come in and do their stuff they act like they know it all and not paying attention into the spiritual side of things right bro pay attention to the spiritual side of things cleanse yourself make sure that you have jesus by your side and another thing right and a lot of things there's this thing that a lot of people tend to get wrong right they go to jesus because they want wealth right and that's not how it should be right a lot of people be going to churches a lot of people be going to sunday services whereby the pastor would basically be like i'm praying for your, your breakthrough those that want money those that want to get jobs those that want this and that and i'm not judging anyone right i'm just uh, uh, uh giving you guys my um my you know what i've just observed right so it's like bro you're literally using jesus for wealth <laughs> and all of those things like almost all of the things that i have achieved almost all of the things that jesus has given me he has given me you know, like most of the things, you know, I had never really asked him, right? But the way that I went to Jesus, I never really went to Jesus because I want to be rich, I want to be this and that. But I went to Jesus because I want to know him better, right? I went to Jesus because I love him. I'm living my life because I want to make Jesus proud. proud. I want to put a smile on his face. I want to make sure that I have enough treasures in heaven. And how am I going to have enough treasures in heaven? That is by helping people, right? Helping people without anyone seeing, right? Like making sure that each and every time that I help someone, no one is going, no one is basically see, seeing that I'm basically helping that, uh, that person. So, no, go to Jesus because you want to know him better. Go to Jesus because you love him. And bro, automatically he's going to pour the world unto you. Don't just go to him and be like, yeah, you no, know, this person is rich, this person, why am I not elevating in life and all of those things? If you just go to him because you want to know him, because you love him for who he is, right? Not going to him because you want to use him for money and all of those things, then that is why he's going to sort of like pour everything to him, right? Like most of the gifts that I have, um, I never really asked him, like, he was just like, yo, my son, here's, here's 
this and that, which I cannot mention, of course. Here's this and that. Um, you know, I'm proud of you, all of this, this and that. All. And there's this important thing that I want you guys to know, like almost all of, all of the gifts, like all of the spiritual gifts that Jesus gave me, he gave me while I was in the middle of worship, right? Like while I was singing, not trying to, you know, my like, um, trying to worship him and all of those, uh, and all of those things. He's never given me something while I was just sitting down, probably watching a movie. So that should tell you that, bro, worship is very, very much important. Worship is the only. I feel like worship is the only, um, not necessarily only, but I feel like worship. That is when um, you sort of like open that door for Jesus to give you something, right? So I see a lot of people going to churches worshiping warming up uh, they only worship before the pastor speaks and that's it they'll, they'll worship uh, in the next service and all of those things but you know i feel like a lot of people don't really understand what uh, how much important worship is right as we are speaking right now jesus is being worshiped he 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 he, he, he breathes worship bro he right now he's, he's literally being worshiped right and that's why i always say that there are millions tons of millions of people calling upon jesus and uh, you know what makes you different from those people that are calling upon jesus it is through worship you only get his attention by worship, not by sinning, not by just, do, not by not sinning, right? I see a lot of people having to wake up and be like, today I'm not going to sin, today I'm not going to sin, which is, which is nearly impossible, bro. You see, there's just no way that you can just wake up and be like, hey, today I'm not going to sin, I'm not going, because at the end of the day, you know, he doesn't really care about that, bro. He doesn't really care about that. I remember there was this other time where I had done something and then he just appeared to me in a way that I cannot explain. And he was like, my son, what could you possibly do that would make it hard for me to believe you, right? So stop, fo stop focusing on not sinning, but start focusing on wanting to know him better. Worship. The minute you worship, that is when you're basically downloading Jesus, right? And when you're downloading Jesus, that basically means that you are making yourself holy. And once you make yourself holy, that is when the bad happens it starts to run away that is when the bad habits smoking drinking drugs all of those things that is when they are basically destroyed inside of you so don't just think to yourself that yeah i'm going to um, i'm going to stop drinking and all of that no bro. you need to spend time with him worship is like literally one of the weapons that i feel like a lot of people are sleeping on make sure that you worship him almost each and every day and i guarantee you that there is no way you are not going to see jesus stop wanting to see jesus through a person stop wanting to get to know jesus through a person stop wanting to go to someone and ask about jesus and all of those things try to do it yourself right because he is closer than our skin bro like i literally talk to him anytime that i want right i literally even now when i even when i can go to the bathroom can literally talk to him even now when i can anytime so he's literally closer to our skin right so he, he he's there most definitely so you know i see a lot of yeah bro and it sometimes it pains me because a lot of young people don't even notice this bro